Hi everyone, it's MJ and in this video we are going to be playing Formula One Fantasy Mode. So what we need to do is choose a whole bunch of drivers, add in a constructor and hopefully our team scores the most points. Of course it's a little bit tricky because we do have a budget so we can't just put in the best people ever. So whenever we presented with a bit of a limitation and we have some, some data, I thought uh, it would be pretty cool if we build some sort of model uh, to just assist us in our decision. So what I'm assuming is that these values over here, so this is how much it costs to put in each of the drivers or each of the teams. I'm assuming that this information here is not just random, that they have based it on you know actual events, performance, and expected results. But there's another source of data that we can actually map this onto, and, and that's actually what I've done. Um, I've created this little model over here. I do apologize, it doesn't look very neat at all. Um, but essentially what I did is I took that values, so all that monetary values in the game, and I put it over here. And then I took the gambling odds. Now the reason I took the gambling odds is because I'm also making the assumption that they're based on historical data and expected results. And what we would expect is that if you've got a very high value, you got, well your odds are, the odds payouts is gonna be very low. So the less or the cheaper you are, uh, the bigger the payout's gonna be if you somehow win because it's just you know, assumed with the, the likelihood. So we do expect that this to be, as this one goes down, this one goes up. But we do see that some of the drivers kind of deviate a little bit around here. So what we're seeing from the model is we're seeing that science is relatively cheap. And what I mean by relative cheap, I mean that the value in the game have tended to undervalue him. Where it is interesting is the game seems to have made Magnuson and Perez quite expensive. So we're gonna go into the model and we're definitely gonna to wanna to choose science and we're gonna to wanna to avoid Magnuson and Perez. And that, like I said, we're just using two types of data, putting them together to see if there is um, a little bit that we can get from that. So I think what we wanna do is choose we said science was was our f was the most uh, cheapest driver, and you can see thirty three percent. A lot of people are choosing him as well. So we're gonna we're gonna bring him in. Now, what makes this game a little bit more interesting is that you have this turbo driver, and the turbo driver receives double points each week. But I think the turbo driver. Um, the problem with him is that there's a little bit of a limitation in the sense that I think the turbo driver cannot be um, super expensive. So the most expensive turbo driver you can get is Gasly. I think yeah, we, I'll just have to double check that a little bit afterwards. So we're going to choose Gasly simply because he is the most, well, he's the most expensive uh, driver that we can get that is going to give us the double points. Okay, now we need to choose three more drivers while taking our budget into consideration. Um, one thing I am gonna do is choose Ferrari as my constructor over Mercedes. And I can see the majority of people have done that as well. And I think what we saw with Ferrari last season is that they've got, or even this season now, they're gonna have two good drivers whereas Mercedes really only has one driver, and we can see that Bottas is not very much rated, uh, both in the value and in the odds. Okay, but we've got 45 million, and we've got like around three more drivers to choose. I mean, Hamilton is, of course, you really want Hamilton, but at 30.5, he's expensive, he is the favorite. I wanna see, can I get both Hamilton and Max Verstappen, okay? No, I have <laughs> I have gone over my budget. Um, oh, and we still need to pick an entire other driver. So oh, we have to choose between Max Verstappen and Hamilton. I mean, really, really like Verstappen, um, but I mean, Hamilton is maybe the, the smart one. Um, what did our model say regarding cheap drivers? Who else is is relatively cheap. So we want a driver who's got a low thing here. So that is saying Kubica and Kivat. Ooh, so they, 
I think, yeah, let's maybe put in Kivat just because he's super cheap. Who's cheaper between Kivat and um, Kubica? Uh, yeah, they're both 5.5 million. They, you can see 20% of the population have gone for Kivat. Only 18.6 have gone for Kubica. I'm not expecting Williams to be anywhere this season. Whereas Toro Rosso... I mean, I'm surprised Albion is worth more than, as a rookie, more than Kivat. So let's put in Kivat. I don't like him, but we he's cheap. The model recommends it. And um, now we left at 40.3. Okay. Let's see. If we choose Hamilton, we left with 9.8. Who can we get for 9.8? I mean, the next best driver, because we'd want to just maximize it is is Grosjean okay so we can either go for Hamilton and Grosjean and I just want to just double check to the turbo points so yeah turbo points uh, must be valued at 19 million or less so I mean this is the whole reason why we've gone for for Gasly wait wait, wait we're not finished we're not finished okay so we can either go with Hamilton and Grosjean we've left 0.5 out or we can go with Max Verstappen and then we have 15 million. But you see, if we go with Max Verstappen and then we go with, say, Ricardo, gee, 64% of people have gone with Ricardo. Yet I kind of think Hulkenberg, personally, I think Hulkenberg's going to beat him. But if we look at that model, I think Hulkenberg was a little bit on the expensive side. Yeah, see, Hulkenberg, so you want this to be as low. So Kubica and Kivar are cheap players. Uh, Perez. Magnussen and Hulkenberg are considered to be overvalued. Although I think Hulkenberg, I think Hulkenberg is going to beat Ricardo. But anyway, we could go for Verstappen, and <laughs> we could go for Verstappen and Ricardo, the old teammates. But then we have a budget left over of three point eight million. Hmm. I wonder if that's that's maybe not better than what Hamilton and Grosjean. It's an, it's an interesting one. It's an interesting decision that we're going to have to go for. Um, you know what we're going to do? The reason why I'm going to go with Hamilton and the reason why I'm going to go with Grosjean is it does give us just a little bit more diversification. So where is Grosjean? There we go. And we've kind of utilized the best of the budget. So we'll have some Mercedes exposure with Hamilton. We'll have some Red Bull exposure with Gasly. And we'll have some Ferrari exposure with, with the actual team. Um, Kivad and Science, I mean, yeah, we're not expecting them to score that many points. But I think they can. Um, I mean, yeah, there's the other strategy, which is to go two big drivers and then, then three other ones. But... Uh, I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to make that decision. Um, look, Toro Rosso is... Oh, they've got McLaren as one of... as weaker than Haas and Alfa Romeo and Racing Point. Sure. I don't know. We're going to go with science. The model the model told us to choose science, and we want this to be an actuarial decision. So we're going to go with science, and uh, let's see how the rest of that goes. So I think we click Save Team. What should we call our team? The... The MJ Actuary Team, MJ Actuarial Team. I don't know, can I even, can I put in spaces so that it makes it look nicer? Um, select favorite team, I mean, of course, Ferrari. Um, there we go. Okie dokie, next you can create your own league. I think there is, yeah, let's create a league. Let's call it the Actuarial League, and then you guys can join in as well. Um, should I let you have, yeah, only one team, only one team. Okay, create league, put that one in there, enter and create, and there we go. That is the invitation code. I'll put that in the description of this video. And then if you guys want, you can, you can join the actuarial league and compete against me and see who knows more about Formula One. I highly recommend the, the Drive to Survive show on Netflix. If you've got that, check it out. It's a lot of fun. Otherwise, uh, yeah, let's see who chose the best team. Anyway, keep well, guys, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.